Okay. Hey. Right. Uh, so, where to get started today? Um, I had a similar situation come up this week in the junior session as to last week where one of the <laughs> junior students got injured on a throw. It was the same throw actually, lapel throw. It's kind of like you grab the inside here, pull it across and like chuck them over you. Um, and it's just, the student just didn't, uh, well, in this case, the one doing the throw kind of did it wrong. So the, instead of sort of rolling off the side of the shoulder, sort of went right over the top and the, the the one who got thrown didn't like break fall at all, uh, so they just like hit their backs straight on the, the floor and hurt themselves. Uh, they were fine there really, just to, you know, our kids are a bit kind of whiny, I like make a lot of noise when they have some kind of pain or whatever, but yeah, trying to I mean, it's funny, at the start of the lesson, we actually, because of last week, we uh, put a bit more emphasis on the break falls and went through it with them in more detail, make sure they all got it, and we like did a throw on it, all of them to make sure that they knew to break fall after being thrown, and it still goes wrong, <laughs> so I don't know. Um, and then the ladies' class was a bit small, it was about six, about half the normal size. Um, not entirely sure why that is, but I, I doubt it's a, a, a permanent thing or whatever. Um, but we just went through the stuff for grading, as with all the classes, we kind of sort of went through as much of the syllabus as possible, because grading is next week. So it was like their last session before grading. Um, so yeah, we just went through that on the in the, the ladies' kickboxing. There's also a fitness test, so we did that as at the start. I just went through a bunch of uh, their stuff. Uh, stuff I've learned that I say I learned today would be kind of about dealing with students who are sort of really unenthusiastic or like sort of lazy in a way. Students just just never want to do much, so like they'll get thrown and then they just sit on the floor, they won't want to get up because they're just, I don't know like the, you know like the fat kids, I don't mean to like be mean to them because it's kind of more their parents fault with kids it's more their parents fault if they're fat and like unhealthy and like that of course makes them quite lazy and not want to pick themselves up and stuff obviously when you're an adult being fat it's your own fault but um you know, kids like that, because I had some who just, just didn't want to really do that much. Um, so it's about trying to like keep got to keep an eye out for them all the time. Because there are some you know you can just leave to do their own thing and get on with it. And of course, you have to occasionally go back to because they'll get stuck on certain bits to tweak their technique. But well, you have to always have that one in the corner of your eye to make sure that it's not just standing around doing nothing you have to constantly like go up and make sure they're, they're practicing properly and move them on correctly and stuff so yeah and then for what I would focus on or perhaps want to learn to do better next time is like sort of figure out and learn the most optimal way to deal with or like react to an injured student because we've only had sort of minor issue injury things with juniors and of course with, with juniors and seniors it's quite different seniors because they're adults they can look after themselves and they're not going to make a massive like fuss or scene out of an injury but with a kid, even like the minor injury, which is nothing, like with an adult, if they ever injure themselves, it's usually quite long term or nasty or something, where it hurts for quite a long time, like a longer recovery time. I mean, adults and kids in general, kids are 
much more physically resilient, but their pain tolerance is like nothing, whereas an adult's pain tolerance is a lot higher. Uh, so a lot of the times an adult will just not say anything to some kind of impact that a kid would just like make a massive fuss and cry over. <laughs> but with like with the case of like today, with the student did actually like the kid did land pretty badly, and they started making a big scene. How, you know, how what's the best way to deal with them? I just sort of I went and got my co-instructor who was kind of leading the genius. So I got. I made him aware of it because I figured he would be better equipped to sort of deal with it and we sort of did the same thing as last time isolate that one try and focus the others on moving on and doing the technique and stuff tried the same sort of strategy and it worked fairly well I think <clears throat> but yeah it's kind of a scary thing you like you don't know what to do when some kid's been injured and it's like making a lot of noise and stuff. I don't know, it's a pretty weird one. So as far as other stuff that's going on at the moment. Um still in the venue search bit, I've I've sent an email out to all the local primary schools. Um, uh, I've only got I've got two replies that have both been negative, but I'm still waiting on a bunch of others, and I think I will probably get some. Probably tomorrow, I'll probably get a bunch of replies. Uh, I need to try and figure out some other potential areas to uh, email and stuff as well. Uh, what else? I've managed to, it's kind of like, it's been a s semi-goal, it's not like exactly a, a goal as such, but it's kind of been something that I've been really wanting to, to do for a long time, and uh, <clears throat> I've kind of seen it, viewed it a bit more like a goal recently, but it's about, it's just like consistency with my own training. So the way I've plotted out my own sort of, uh, fitness slash martial art training is it's like three days three times a week no three times a day six days a week that's how it kind of rolls it's the same sort of structure each day I'll have some kind of I've got two morning routines and I alternate between them I've got two sort of before bed stretching routines and then so I've got the morning and the pre bed one that's two times, and then the one uh, in the middle, usually in like the evenings, will either be gym, so gym, 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 three times a week, or it'll be like the jiu-jitsu sessions. So it kind of works out pretty well. Like Monday's a bit of an awkward one, but then Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday are the gym days. Wednesday and Friday are the current jiu-jitsu days. Uh, that might sort of change soon, but so um, basically Monday to Saturday, I'm doing three types of sort of training exercise. Uh, the morning one is kind of a bit of skill practice on my wooden dummy, core ab stuff, and like forearms, and a bit of early simple stretching just to loosen my leg muscles up and stuff now I've got that middle one and then the the um pre-bed one it's mostly stretching it's kind of taken from yoga poses and stuff but there's also like isometric strengthening stuff in there as well as a result of that but it's mostly stretching and uh, I find it helps me get tired for bed easier as well but being super consistent doing all three of those and like for all six days it's been something that's really difficult I've never managed to do a whole week of all three of them I've either 
always have like one where I like skip the bed one or skip the morning ones or something happened where I couldn't go to the gym or whatever but for the past two weeks I've managed to do all of it which is pretty crazy um, and I think I sort of bring that down to that audio but you can't hurt me I finished it uh, earlier this week I think um, and it's just really uh, good I like it, it sort of um, helps me to reignite that passion for like working on the, the fitness side of stuff and developing my skill set as it were I think I've I think the reason that that died down I found it harder to be super focused on it because I split my focus I think I mentioned this last video but yeah my focus was a bit more split up between like trying to figure out how the best to do my own club how to do content how, not just planning content for the YouTube channel but also figuring out how I'm actually going to film it and stuff around my busy routine and stuff how I can actually fit that in and then there's the fitness training stuff and like fitness goals and stuff uh, I need to work on fitness goals actually I've got one that I'm head on my mind quite a bit which is pull ups I'm trying, I can't quite figure out the best way to I've already got I do pull ups on my, my gym sessions. It's not really enough to like push myself in the right way. I'm not sure. I used to do this thing where in the as part of my morning routine I'd go outside and there's like a bit of scaffolding I've made up so it's like a makeshift pull up bar and I'd try and just max out as many as I could on that. And that was I found that was a pretty good way for me to push the number I could do. So I might try and do that again, but we'll see. Don't know. The goal I've got in my head is like being able to do 20 pull ups in one go without stopping, and uh, the most I got up to when I was doing that thing where I'd go outside and do it in the morning it was like 15. But I've, sort of, I've changed the way I'm doing it, and I don't think I can get as many now. I can probably only do about 12 at the moment, like wide grip. Because I'd always do wide grip at that point. Now I've started, after I read this thing, I've started doing it more where I like change the grip for each set I do when I'm on my gym session one. I do like four sets of 10. And I'll change the grip because um, it just provides better overall development but I'm not sure the best way to approach that goal if I'm not, I don't know, I'm still trying to figure it out um, yeah but we'll see, but that audiobook is a, a really good, I definitely recommend it it helps to helps to, it sort of reinforces a bunch of stuff I definitely feel like I've experienced myself already, but I've kind of let it, it sort of die down a bit, it's helped bring it back up again, all this stuff about self-discipline and being able to plough through hard stuff and actively seeking out challenges and uh, uncomfortable situations, ways of pushing yourself. Like I said, it's kind of the reason I've started, I've done all this stuff like, like these and the channel and trying to pursue the coaching stuff and my own club stuff more because it's just I've definitely noticed it's helped me as a person grow a lot more and so as a result I'm eager to go even further to see how how much further I can go as a person yeah but yeah I'd say that's probably about it for today uh, like I said before uh, main content's probably going to be a bit difficult for me right now I uh, have no idea uh, how I'm going to film anything or find the time to edit it uh, but we'll see hopefully in a month or in like a few months time or so I'll be able to put a lot more attention on the channel stuff like I would like to do I've got 
some ideas of what I want to do, but it's just, at the moment it's all about opportunities and they don't always appear, so yeah, I don't know, I'll have to see. So, till then, I'll see you next time.